Problem 4, which of the following most nearly gives the LRFD design moment capacity of the section? Before we solve for the moment capacity, we should identify first the limit states to be used in the problem. So in order to do that, we need to know the slenderness of its elements. So we have to check if the flange is compact or not, as well as the web. So let us check first the compactness of the flange. Okay, so for the compactness of the flange, that is B sub F over 2T sub F. So let us solve for that one. That is 154 over 2 times 15.4. So we have 5. And then the lambda sub P is 0 0.38 square root of E over FY. This is 9.5. 1493248. So as you can see, lambda is less is less than lambda sub t. Therefore, the flange is compact. Okay, so we do the same for the web. The lambda for web is h over t sub w, and we're going to compare that to lambda sub uh, p w, which is 3.76 square root of E over Fy. Okay, so we solve for each that is the overall depth minus twice of K sub DES over T sub W, which is 9.14. And then we compute the lambda sub B sub W, 3.76 square root of 200,000 over 345. Okay, so we have 44.704-59519, and then we compare that to 90.53. So as you can see, lambda sub W is less than lambda sub PW, therefore we, con we conclude that the web is compact. Okay, if we have a compact section, meaning the flange is compact, the web is compact, so it means that the limit states that we will be investigating is only yielding and lateral torsional buckling. So let us go first for yielding. So the nominal moment strength based on the yielding limit state is the plastic moment. So we substitute. That is 345 times Z sub X, which is 1490 times 10 cube. We have M sub N equals 514.050 Newton mm. So in kilonewton meter, this is 514.05. Next is the lateral torsional buckling. So for the lateral torsional buckling, we have to identify first on what criteria are we going to choose for. In what criteria of lateral torsional buckling the problem belongs. Okay. So if L sub B is less than LP, LTB does not apply. So again, we identify L sub B. Based on the problem, the lateral brace is only at the end, so meaning our LB is the length of the beam, which is 3.6 meters. In millimeter, that is 3.6. And then we have computed before L sub P and L sub R. The value of L sub P that we have computed before is 1389. And then the LR is 4171. Okay, so as we can see, L sub B is greater than L sub T but less than LR. So if that is the case, we have an inelastic lateral torsional buckling. And the formula is given by C sub B times M sub P minus M sub P 
minus 0.7 fy sx times the ratio of the lengths, which is L sub B minus L sub P over L sub R minus L sub P. Okay, so the formula is long, but we can do this. We solve this one by one. First, we solve the MP minus 0.7 FY SX. So MP, we have already computed that. That is 514050 minus 0.7 FY. SX is given as 1290 times 10 cube. Let's compute. So that is 202515. Okay, Newton M. Next, we calculate the ratio of the lengths L sub B minus L sub P over L sub R minus L sub P. L sub B is 36. L sub P is 1389. L sub R is 4171. So let us solve. We should use the values with complete decimal values. Okay. So let's say for this one, this is LR. Let's say we store LR to B. Okay, and then, so this is LP. We store this to E. So let's solve 3, 6 minus E over D minus E. So this ratio is 0 0.794574. 46858. So therefore, we can now solve for the nominal strength. So take note, we have computed for C sub B before. That is 25 over 22 times M sub P, which is. So take note, uh, we are already using this formula. So C sub B times MP. MP is 514.05 times 10 to the 6 minus this moment 202515 times the ratio of the legs which is 0 0.794574468 so let us compute for mn We have 401-291-713.1 Newton mm. Okay? In kilonewton meter, this is 401.291-7131 kilonewton meter. Take note that this nominal moment strength should not exceed the plastic moment. It is less than 514.05. So therefore, this is this is an acceptable value of the nominal moment strength. Comparing all the limit states, considering the yielding limit state, we have 514. Considering LTV, we have 401. Therefore, the minimum of all the limit states governs. So this is our nominal moment strength. So to compute for the, the time moment capacity, we just multiply this by the resistance factor 0.9. So that is 361.162541 kilonewton meter. Okay? So the nearest is letter B.